In this short video, I'm going to look at the summation notation used in the SBI 209 statistical manual. And I'm going to start using the example from table 2.1 in section 2, which has counts of limpets on a rocky shore. If you're wondering what a limpet is, it's a little sea animal that looks like this, lives attached to the rock, moves around slowly feeding on small amounts of seaweed. Now, this sign over here, which we call sigma, is used many times in the statistical manual, and it basically means add up. And so using the sigma symbol, we're writing out summation notation. And one of the formula you will see written is this one here, which has x bar is equal to 1 divided by n times sigma xi. Now x bar is just the mean. So that symbol there just stands for the mean or the average of the sample. Now we actually know how to work that out. We simply need to add up these numbers and divide by however many they are. And that's quite simple. So why do we have this complicated notation? A complicated notation tells us exactly what we need to add up. So the way we read it is this. We first of all look at the sigma, which tells us to add up. We start by adding from i equals 1 up to n the xi. Well, that may not help too much. x here stands for an observation, and i is a counter that goes from 1 to however many observations we have, which in this case is 8. So if I write under here, that first observation there, 5 is x1, 9 is x2, 7 is x3, 12 is x4, 1 is x5, and so on, all the way up to the 9, which is x8, or observation 8. Now the summation notation may seem complicated, but it allows us to express quite long sums in just a few symbols. So what that notation is actually telling us to do here is just this. So it says, first of all, the front part is 1 divided by the number of observations there is. So that's 1 divided by 8. And then we add up the observations. So 5 plus 9 plus 7 plus 12 plus 1 plus 0 plus 11 plus the last observation, which is 9. Add those up, we get 54. Divide that by 8. So the mean of this set of observations is 6.75. In other places, you'll see the formula written in a very similar way, but with a little squared sign there. And what that means is that we square the observations and add them up. So here, we would be doing this. So in this case, we'd have 5 squared, 25, plus 9 squared, 81, plus 7 squared, 49, plus 12 squared, 144, plus 1 squared, which is 1, plus 0 squared, which is 0, plus 11 squared, which is 121, plus 9 squared again, which is another 81. And we would add up all of those. Now the form here where we're just adding the observations up by themselves is used in working out the mean 
and the form down here where we square them and add them up is used in working out the variance. Now I want to emphasize that I use the formula here in the statistical manual just to illustrate how the mean is worked out. The same is true for the variance. When it comes to working out the mean and variance, use your calculator, please.